The first Atlantic storm of the year is now Hurricane Arthur. The immediate threat is along North Carolina's Outer Banks. A mandatory evacuation order is now in place. A view from the International Space Station shows the size of the system. It threatens holiday plans for tens of millions of Americans. Arthur's expected to quickly move up the East Coast today and tomorrow. Craig Boswell is in Nags Head, North Carolina, one of many vacation spots where 4th of July celebrations are now in jeopardy. Craig, good morning. And good morning to you from Nags Head, North Carolina, where Hurricane Arthur is an unwanted and uninvited guest to this major tourist destination. Families who had planned their vacations here, some of them a year in advance, are coming out to the beach. Check out the surf that is beginning to kick up to see what's happening this morning as time begins to wear out to decide if they're staying or going. Nearby Hatteras Island earlier this morning was put under a mandatory evacuation. As Arthur approaches, the outer banks of North Carolina may be in for a beating. With 25 coastal counties already in a state of emergency, Governor Pat McCrory is warning people to take this storm seriously. I want to reiterate, don't put your stupid hat on. Usually most injuries occur right before a storm or right after a storm. But some of the people we spoke to aren't getting the message. Enjoying the, the sun, the sand, water. And maybe a tropical storm or a hurricane. I'm not moving. I'm not running. You know what I mean? A little bit of rain, a little bit of wind, never hurt anybody. More than a little rain pelted central Florida Wednesday, where Arthur's impact has already been felt. Now, as this strengthening storm continues up the East Coast, many enjoying a holiday getaway are considering coming home early. This is our vacation for the season, so, you know, we don't want to cut it too short because, you know, the 4th of July weekend. We don't want to head home on 4th of July, but we also don't want to be sitting in the eye of the storm either. I'm hoping they're wrong. <laughs> Um, but but I, don't, I don't want to take any chances. We've got six kids here with us, so we just want to make sure we're home and safe. An attitude officials here want everyone to adopt in the hopes that no one puts their life in danger. Almost every casual we've had during storms occur typically right before or after a storm when people again get too comfortable when there is still potential danger. Hurricane Arthur is expected to skirt the Outer Banks, but that's enough to bring high winds and heavy rains, and it is the rain that is the biggest concern. Anthony? Craig, thanks.